hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's vlog it is what surgery prep day okay so we on our way to get our covid test fingers crossed that i'm negative because you know what happened last time so let's get into it Y'all, I'm in TJ Maxx now. I couldn't record my COVID test because that would have been awkward. Anywho, so look what I found in TJ Maxx. Fancy. And guess how much it is? $7.99. And you know, Fancy is like $30. So what is this? This is a kilowatt foil. So it has these colors. Yes, gotta get it. That is a great deal. Hey YouTube, I am back. So, I just got word that I was officially, officially approved for my surgery tomorrow, which is April 14th. I got my COVID results back um, last night. So, it's negative, finally. So, if you checked out my January vlog, you would know why I said finally. But, anywho, so, surgery is tomorrow, April 14th at 9.30 a.m. So, yep. So my doctor um, recommended that I take two weeks off from work. So I am taking a full two weeks off. And you know, a little, little vacation, a much needed vacation because girl, I'm so tired of going to work. But anywho, I want to show you some of the protein shakes that I got from Sam's Club. And yeah, from Sam's Club. So some of you may have heard of the Fairlife um, protein drinks. Boop. You probably see this all over TikTok and all over YouTube, but primarily from the people who like to work out. They love these protein drinks. So these were highly recommended. Um, it has 30 grams of protein, um, two grams of sugar, and let me see how many carbs. And it has protein. Oh, four grams of carbs. So this is pretty good for bariatric patients. It was also recommended by my dietitian, and I got it in the flavor chocolate. I haven't tried it yet, but highly recommended. Actually, all the flavors of the Fairlife protein drinks was recommended by like everybody on YouTube and TikTok. So I'm gonna take their word for it because me and protein drinks do not get along. All the protein drinks that I tried, besides the one that I'm gonna show you next, taste like. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I could, I could, I can tolerate Premier Protein, like tolerate Premier Protein, as long as it's mixed with something else. But all the rest, Iso Pure, all that other, is a wrap. No, mm -mm. so yeah, so this this comes in vanilla, strawberry, salted caramel, and I think that's it. So yep, and this came in a pack of twelve. I got it from Sam's Club, and this was sold out everywhere. Like it's, this is hard to come by. They also sell this at Walmart, but these drinks is hard to come by. Everybody and their mama buying these up. So you either gonna have to order it from Amazon, order it from the Walmart app, but you could barely find it in the store. But you can find it at Sam's Club. But this is the only flavor they had. Next. I just happened to try this at Target because I was like, hmm, let me just try it because it is a protein drink and me and protein, like I said, don't get along. So I tried it and I was like, hmm, this is edible. I could do this. And it comes in three flavors. So you can find these particular drinks at Target. I did see it in a pack at Target yet, but I see it sold individually. But I got mine from Sam's Club. It came in a box of like 12 or 18. Something like that. And it's three flavors, like I said. So the first flavor, oh, the brand is called Fit Shake. And this is what it looks like. And the flavors are munchies. So it looks like it has cookies, pretzel, and yeah, cookies, pretzel. So this is kind of like a cookie and a pretzel taste to it. Um, so once again, this is called munchies. This is what it looks like. And it has 140 calories, it has 10 grams of carbs, and it has 6 grams of sugar. 
and this one is called fruity cereal and same the same specs this this one only has nine grams of carbs though but everything else is the same and let's see this last one is called cookies and cream and has 10 grams of carbs and everything else the same 20 grams of protein six grams of sugar so you don't want to go over six grams of sugar six grams of sugar is actually kind of pushing it but it's good enough so yes these are the fit shakes and then I also got this Pedialyte for electrolytes because girl you're gonna need it and I got it in the flavor strawberry so that's really pretty much all I got so far because you don't want to overdo it you don't want to go on the grocery haul because you're gonna be struggling to to get anything down so I suggest that you don't go overboard about all this bull crap okay so I'm waiting on my vitamins to come in I ordered my vitamins from fusion which is a bariatric brand and um, I also ordered my iron vitamins from Amazon because it was cheaper on Amazon from Fusion as well. So, your I'm gonna show you those when they come in. If you checked out my weight loss vlog in January, um, I bought the bariatric brand, the bariatric advantage, um, dissolvable pills. I mean, pills, vitamins, and they were like this big, they stink and they taste like. Shit. Okay, and I was like, I cannot do that. And I don't know what convinced me to buy those vitamins. I really don't know when my weight loss department gave me, um, they gave me samples. So why didn't I just go buy the samples? I was bugging. So I gave those to my mom. Like she got some, she probably not even taking them because they were crap. Anywho, so all my vitamins are bariatric brand vitamins recommended by my surgeon and they for bariatric patients and the brand is called fusion and they're all chewables like they're all chewy bites so the same consistency as a starburst and like i said i had samples i tried them i tried the calcium ones i tried the multivitamin i tried the iron ones and they all taste bomb so i'm definitely going to be able to do that and keep up with my vitamins this go around okay so i'm gonna Talk to you guys tomorrow on surgery day and I will see you later. Oh yeah, before I go and talk to you tomorrow, I might also include a mini Amazon haul in this video. I don't know yet, but you'll see by the end of the video. See ya. Hey guys, I am back. So before I close out this video tonight, I forgot that I wanted to show you what I'm packing. My hospital bag. I'm gonna show you my hospital bag basically. So. I suggest that you pack light because first of all don't expect to be in a hospital long you don't want to be in a hospital long the most the longest you're going to be in the hospital is like two days if you know you have some complications you might be in there a little longer I remember my first time like seven eight years ago I was in there four days when I was only supposed to be there in two for two days so you know it is what it is but um, for my surgery I was told I was only going to be in the hospital for a one night stay so, um, let me show you what I'm going to pack. First and foremost, I'm bringing my, how do you pronounce this, Ozium. This is air sanitizer spray. It says it kills 99% of the germs in the air. Sprayed is all in, in my room. Cause you know, hospital is full of diseases. Okay. Next, I am bringing some chapstick. Cause your lips gonna be dry, girl, sir. Sir, ma'am, he, she, whoever, bring some chapstick. I'm bringing some Q-tips. I stay with some Q-tips. I always gotta have Q-tips. Of course, I'm bringing my charger. I got my, my camera pod right here because I do plan on vlogging while I'm in the hospital. Um, a KN, uh, KN95 mask, of course, because I ain't going to the hospital with COVID. I ain't coming back out with COVID, okay? You heard me. Um, My toiletry bag. So in this bag, I have hand sanitizer. I have body lotion. You can use it for your face and body. It's Cerebe. You know, Cerebe is good. I got some deodorant. I got some mouthwash. I got a travel size toothpaste. 
I got a travel toothbrush because if I'm not in my house, and I travel somewhere, whether it's on vacation, whatever. If it's not in my house, I bring a separate toothbrush. And then I throw it in the trash because, I don't know. For me, I just hate bringing a toothbrush that was outside of my house back into my house. Like, I just cannot. I have a white rag and I also have a travel size, um, a travel size body soap, body wash rather. And then I also got this little Dawn soap that I um, got from some type of hotel stay I, um, I went to. It's a travel size Dawn soap, so I'm using it for hand soap. I hate bar soap for your hands. It just feels gross to me. So that's in my toiletry bag, and I also got Lysol spray. Next, I suggest that you bring comfortable clothing. Do not bring nothing fancy, nothing like that. Bring some sweatpants and some leggings period in an old t-shirt period and a nice comfortable sports bra or whatever bring your bonnet or your do-rag that's it and that's all you don't need all this fancy stuff okay so this is what I'm wearing to the hospital just some leggings some old leggings and then um, my outfit coming back home is just some sweatpants and a t-shirt that's it and that's all and I'm gonna um, I'm only bringing one pair of shoes so I'm bringing my Crocs and the reason being is because Crocs are comfortable, they have a good grip, and they also are easy to slide, slide on and off. So I suggest that you either wear Crocs or slides, okay? And then, last but not least, I am bringing some note cards. Woo woo, plan on studying while I'm in there. Let's see how that goes though. But, gotta study though. Bringing some note cards, and I also, want to show you the soap that I had to bathe with. Um, it is called Dynahex 4. It's an antiseptic um, body wash that my, um, that my surgeon made me wash with. So it looks like this. So it's like hospital grade antiseptic body wash that you um, have to wash with the night before and in the morning of your surgery. You can't use anything else. No other soaps, no lotions, no nothing. Just this. So I just got out the shower and I used my soap. And then I'm gonna use it again tomorrow morning before my surgery. Um, I also washed my hair in the shower, washed all the oils and everything out, and then I washed it, didn't put nothing else in it, just brushed it and put a do-rag over it because you know you cannot have anything in your hair as well. Make sure you take out all your piercings, your nose rings, your tongue rings, your eyebrow rings, your lip rings, your click rings, belly rings, Take all them rings out because seven years ago I had me a down under piercing and I was like, they ain't gonna see that piercing. Why would they be down there? Why would they see that piercing? So there's no need for me to take it out. Y'all, when I woke back up from my anesthesia, the nurse was like, here's your piercing. She had it in a little like Ziploc bag. I was like, why were you, why was he down there? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, take out all your piercings. Make sure you don't bring no jewelry on your surgery day because it will probably come up missing. Um, I suggest that you just bring your ID, your insurance card, and one debit or credit card. Just them three. That's it. Don't bring nothing else. Don't bring a purse. Don't bring nothing else. Um, unless you absolutely have to because you may be getting dropped off and your family not, might not be with you. Like... Um, seven years ago, my family wasn't with me. I was by myself because my grandparents were mad old, y'all. They just couldn't do all this. Do all this and all that. I don't even think my grandfather was even driving anymore. <laughs> but, um, and then, you know, I had no family down south other than them. Anywho, let me see. Let me tell you any more tips that I have for you. Um, oh, yeah, back to your credit debit card. So, if you're getting dropped off and you're by yourself and you don't have any family to take, your you know your personal information like your main your id and all that stuff or you don't trust them with it before they wheel you back into the surgery room go on your your bank app and then lock your card so you know nobody's using it while you in surgery or waking up okay period you don't want to wake up and your funds are missing okay um and then i'm not bringing like a big bag i'm just bringing my my apocalypse book bag, my military book bag, period. That's it. 
and don't forget your charger and that's it so i will see you guys tomorrow for real for real but i did mention um before that i was going to do i might do a mini amazon haul but i was mistaken it's not amazon it is actually sephora and alta all right deuces hey guys it is april 14th it's around like 8 15 or so so we about to get ready and head on out because the hospital is hour away from me is in the city the main hospital so yeah and um oh yeah clarification i explained to you the hospital gray soap all chopped and screwed yesterday all backwards okay so you shower with your regular soap you get out the shower dry off then you put the hospital gray soap on you leave it off for two minutes and then you rinse it off do not put it on your face or your neck I look back at the footage, I was like, I was so chopped and screwed and backwards. Like, girl, get it together. Anywho, so I'm about to get on the scale. I can show you my starting weight. So we can start with that. So, Lego. And don't look at my toe. Here is the starting weight. All right, let me make sure I got that good. There you go. See it? There we go. Hey, YouTube. So I just woke up. Woke up. I've been up for some hours, but I wasn't able to stay up because of the anesthesia. I think the anesthesia finally wore off. But <sighs> the pain is really bad. I have a lot of pain, and the reason why I'm out of breath right now is because I've been trying to sit up on my own, but the pain is bad. They have been giving me pain meds on the schedule, which have been working. I don't need to ask for pain meds randomly, so I'm good. I have been burping, which is good. I walked two times, and I have been able to keep keep water down. I've been sipping or eating ice chips. CJ left about 45 minutes ago. It is now 11 o'clock or 11.30 p.m. Um, I don't have a room yet, but I'm, I am in a room, but it's not a patient room, which I don't care. Um, yeah, the pain is rough. My throat is sore. I go to the tube down my throat. But, see, I burped. I'll try to do that. Hey guys, I am up and rocking now. The pain level is on a three now. So, the pain is easing on down. Um, I'm sipping on some water, and I have some jello here. And, um, they said I gotta drink my liquids or they not gonna release me. You're right. I'm gonna escape like a fugitive. So the nausea went away. No more, no, no more nausea. I can't swallow. Throat still sore because of the tube down my throat. Other than that, I'm doing well. Um, I'm propped up in a chair now. No more laying down. Because I um, now they have me walking every hour on the hour. Um, they do measure your urine, make sure that you're peeing enough. And I'm watching TV now. I had the TV on this whole time. I didn't even mess with my phone. I was like, they kept knocking my ass out. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. I probably won't be released until this afternoon or this evening. Yep. So, I will see you guys soon.
Hey guys, they, they just brought in my sheet to count how many um, cups of water I'm drinking. So they give you this little medicine cup that's um, measured. And you're supposed to drink, I mean, one of those cups equal to one cup of water. So I have to drink, oh, the paper, right? I'm looking for the paper. I'm looking, I have to drink 34. 34 small little cups of water, which equal up to like, okay. Yeah, 34 medicine cups of fluid. So yeah, so let me show you. So this is what it looks like. So as you see on the bottom, I had to drink 34. And jello counts, broth, you know, all those things up there counts. Hey YouTube, I am back home from the hospital. They released me because I met all my goals. So I'm gonna give you all the information that I have. So, I was supposed to be at the hospital at 9.30 a.m. yesterday for my surgery. They didn't want me back into surgery until three o'clock, 3 p.m. So I was waiting that whole time. And then I had my surgery and then I guess I was finished around uh, about 6, 6.30 with the surgery. Then of course you gotta go to recovery and the hospital, I guess, was so packed that they didn't have a room for me. A room in the unit that I was supposed to be in when you have your own private bathroom and all that stuff. So I didn't get that room. I ended up on another unit, which that unit was actually pretty nice anyway, even though I didn't have my own bathroom. But um, it still ended up pretty nice. And what I will say is every staff member that I came across yesterday was the bomb.com like these people were so nice and it was so organized and knew what it was doing like they were so bomb so i feel like if you plan on getting bariatric surgery in the state of maryland go to university of maryland medical system because their staff was on point okay so while at the hospital they wake you up every hour on the hour so you can walk you have to walk and they don't care if it's one o'clock in the morning two o'clock in the morning midnight they're gonna wake you up and you're gonna have to walk to get all that gas out and to prevent blood clots. I got two injections. I don't know the name of the um, the medication, but it's to prevent blood clots. They um, injected me in the stomach twice. Um, I had IVs, which included um, Tylenol. Cause I told them before my surgery, when I had a pre-op, I do not want any narcotics or anything like that. So they gave me Tylenol. Um, they also gave me Zofran um, to help with nausea because I did have an incident years ago with my first surgery that I was, um, I had persistent nausea and vomiting that lasted two months. So we, they didn't want that episode again. So they gave me Zofran via IV. Um, I did have to throw up one time, but it really was mucus. Like the, something was like draining from my throat. But other than that, I was fine. Um, far as pain, when I first got a surgery, it was a 10. Now it's a three. Um, my doctor said because of the type of incisions he gave me, I'm going to be sore for about at least three months. Um, all in all, the surgery went really well. Like, I was, oh yeah, my surgeon recommends that, um, that while I was in the hospital recovering, I had to meet goals. So I had to drink, um, a thousand milliliters of fluids before they released me to go home. So it was these little small little cups, like this big, like communion cups. And um, I had to drink 34 of those in order to be released. Or you could substitute with Jello. Jello counted as well. So I ate the Jello. That went down pretty good. And the water went down as well. So I'm glad I could tolerate those two. So I won't be dehydrated. Um, let me see what else. The walking, they do measure your urine. They, you do have to get your urine measured. They will give you a nun's cap or whatever. Um, let me see what else. So yeah, I'm home now. They gave, they sent me away with a lot of medication. One for acid reflux. One for, cause you know, when you get this surgery, you're gonna become constipated. So you're gonna need something to help you go. They gave me that. Or you could just take Metamucil for that. Um, they gave me a medication that I'm supposed to take twice a day for, um, to prevent ulcers and prevent your gallbladder from having to be removed. Um, also, they gave me Zofran in case I get nauseous. And that's about it. So, um, my vitamins came in the mail today. I'm still waiting on my multivitamin, but these are my iron. 
my iron um, vitamins. It's a soft chews in the flavor grape. Like I told you before, these vitamins is so good, okay? And on Amazon, they had a deal where I get two, um, two months worth of vitamins. So it's 60 chews in here. You're only supposed to take one a day in the iron. So these are lasting two months. So it was $29 on Amazon. The multivitamins that I got, I got it off the website. And I got it for $100 for four months worth. And then I already had the calcium chews. So bariatric vitamins are pretty expensive. Yeah, you have to take them though. Um, let me see what else. I think that's about it. So of course I'm going to give you an update. I'm going to give you a one week update. So today's the 15th. So a week from now, I'm going to give you my one week update. Okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Deuces. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good.